If you have the hub cap on the wheel, go ahead and remove the little caps that hold it on with a 19 millimeter socket. Set this aside, then take off all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts and then we'll take the wheel off. Next you'll need an 18 millimeter socket on the nut side and I'm going to try to break this nut free first. There we go. Now stick a 17 millimeter wrench or some locking pliers behind here. This is going to help you hold the stud in place. Okay, maybe we'll switch to locking pliers next. All right, so I got my locking pliers on here, trying to grab onto the nut side on the stud here. Clamp them on as tight as possible. <clears throat> All right, try again. Okay, I worked it back and forth a little bit. There we go. Now let's do the same thing to the other side so that we can pull the sway bar up and then disconnect the bottom. So the bottom side is really hard to show you, but I'm gonna apply some heat to the nut. Okay, I got it to break free. That's good. I'm gonna switch to a ratcheting wrench now. wrenches I guess doesn't give me enough leverage I'll switch to a ratchet well mine is pretty much stuck here and hopefully yours isn't as rotted I'm just gonna cut it off at this point but of course if you want to keep going or if yours comes off easier then take it off whichever way you prefer again I'm just gonna cut mine off at this point <laughs> There it is. Get your new sway bar link, slide it through. As you can see, I put grease on the threads. I like to do that so that one, the nut slides on easier, and two, it avoids the, uh, the nut potentially getting seized onto the stud in the future if this has to be removed. So I'm gonna hold the stud with a 17, and then I have a long extension with a swivel, and another extension, and an 18 millimeter on the nut side. That's tight. Bring your, bring the top of your sway bar link in. Start the nut on, snug it up. Perfect. Let's get the wheel back on. Start on all five of your lug nuts, snug them up, and torque them to 100 foot-pounds. And if your vehicle came equipped with these hub caps, make sure you line up this hole with the valve stem. Slide them on. Line up all the uh, lug nuts with these caps and then just tighten this on. This is what holds on this hub cap, so you wanna make sure that it's tight, otherwise it'll go flying off the road. 